Now, let your arms hang. Feel the weight of your head. Notice the ground beneath your feet. We have all been taught the same picture: a skeleton stacked neatly from feet to skull, bones piled like bricks, each resting on the other. It looks clean, logical, stable, and it's deadly wrong. Your bones never truly sit on each other. You are not a compression stack. You are a pressurized suspension system. Bones floated inside the living web of fascia, held apart and animated by internal hydraulic pressure. Once you grasp this, the way you see movement, training, and even injury will never be the same. And if you want more of this uncompromising look at the body's real architecture, subscribe now because we are about to break down everything the textbooks left. It up. Before speed, power, or flexibility comes true. Why structure comes before strength? Before speed, power, or flexibility comes structure. Structure is the hidden blueprint that decides how folks move through you. Get the structure wrong, and every rep, every mile, every jump just wears you down faster. It's like pouring horsepower into a car with a bendable C. More effort, more breakdown. So get the structure right, and your body stops leaking energy. Movement becomes lighter, joints last longer, and the pressure does the work. Now picture this: Body A, you are stacked bones, you land from a jump, and the shock hammers straight up. Heels, knees, hip, spine, every joint takes the heat. Now the body B, same jump, but now your skeleton is floating in elastic web, inflated by internal pressure. You land, and the pressurized web catches the load, force disperses your joints, collide, and the system stays alive. The difference between A and B is in strength, its structure, and the structure is breath-driven hydraulics. Now I want to talk about the old models and why they fail. First is the compression model. The compression stack says bones are bricks, but the brick wall collapses when it has to move. The lever model says bones are lever, joints are hinges, muscles are motors, but the body has no fixed hinges. Every movement spirals, muscle doesn't just pull levers; they tune by internal pressure. So the lever and the fulcrum is partially right, but not completely right, and the both of the models are missing the living truth. And then in the 1970s, Stephen Lebwine saw it. Human joints act like separate structures. Bones are struts. Fascia ligaments and tendons are the continuous tension cables. Together, they spread force. But even to segregate isn't enough because the body isn't just an empty model. It's inflated. It's alive. So what on earth is the missing piece? It's the pressure. Your body is a breath-driven hydraulic system. Pressure is what makes movement elastic instead of grinding. Without pressure, your body collapses inward. With pressure, your body expands, resists load, and distributes force through the whole system. Think of parachute. Without air, it's just fabric. With air, it comes alive, holds shape, and carries weight. Now let's have a quick self check. I want you to stand naturally and check if your ribs collapses towards your pelvis. If yes, that's lots of pressure. And now inhale. Can you expand to all directions, the front, back, and the sides, or just <clears throat> lift your chest? If it's only your chest, and your pressure system is probably offline. If you feel both your breathing mechanics or your hydraulic mechanics are not working on very well, and every step, every lift, every breath is costing you more than it should. In body alignment training, we map the human body structure as first scatter alignment and the balance load. That's the compressional tension, and the second, the fascia suspend the bones. That's the tension at the the pull. Third, the skin. Keeping it all wrapped as a container. Without the container, there is no pressure within. Finally, is the keystone is the axis zero, the breath driven mechanics. So how do we adjust the hydraulic system through the breathing? And that's what makes the structure not just stable but alive, strong yet mobile, resilient and the load. But now, when you see yourself as a hydraulic suspension system, you stop asking why does my knee hurt. And how is my structure handling force? You stop isolating muscles and start training your system to expand, inflate, and distribute. Strength without pressure breaks. Flexibility without pressure collapses. Only when pressure drives the system do you get movement that lasts a lifetime.
So if you're ready to stop chasing symptoms and start building a body that lasts, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Structure without pressure is just a shape, like a parachute with no air. It folds. This is Gabby from Beauty and Venus Editing. See you next time.